Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for being here tonight. Welcome to the 2010 Making a Difference for Women Awards Dinner. And my sincere thanks goes out to everybody here with the National Council for Research on Women for allowing me this opportunity to share this special night with all of you. Now, as a broadcast journalist at CNN, my job is, of course, to report on newsmakers and to report on those pivotal events that have shaped our history. And uh, I believe that our children and grandchildren are going to be reading about these times that we've gone through, especially with our most recent financial crisis, uh, in their lessons as they go to school. If you're keeping track of some of the most dramatic developments and trends that we've seen over the past few years, of course, it's a typical news cycle, but at the same time, we've had unprecedented events. Uh, they referenced the situations with the massive earthquakes, both in Haiti, and we saw the human toll there, and now Chile, uh, much more developed country, but dealing with some of the same problems in the aftermath. Um, here at home, of course, we've been dealing with our own aftermath of sorts, and what's been described by many as the Great Recession or the economy being brought to the brink. And now, uh, after many choices were made and decisions were made, how we're handling this aftermath is proving to be quite crucial. Um, of course, you can't ignore politics. We've seen that playing out as well. Um, and the two coming together, in fact, just today, we saw a big turnaround in uh, a one-man filibuster, if you will, to hold up unemployment benefits and the outcry and outrage. Uh, a lot of people saying these are unprecedented times where uh, more people are actually getting food stamps than graduating from college. And there's a lot of smart people, and a lot of people have pride in the fact that America is a, a country that finds solutions to our most critical problems, and clearly we have one now. Uh, and women are a huge vital part of all of this, which is uh, one of the reasons why I'm happy to be here tonight. This evening, though, we are celebrating four individuals who are making history in the best possible way. They're basically taking society forward. They're changing the game for women and also girls here in the United States, but not only in the United States, around the world as well. And of course, tonight's honorees aren't the only game changers in the room. And if we could just take a moment, let's hear it actually for the National Council for Research on Women. If we could get a round of applause tonight. A big thank you to the organization and everybody who spends countless hours uh, working with the organization. And I'm here this evening because, of course, of my great admiration for the remarkable job the council has been doing. The researchers trying to bring clarity, trying to bring urgency and insight to the day's most pressing policy discussions, while also ensuring that the interests of women and girls are always front and center. And, of course, it's where they ought to be. It's a noble mission, but it's a mission that demands committed leadership, and in that regard, this council is actually most fortunate to have at the helm the woman I'm about to introduce tonight, and she is herself a skilled researcher, an innovative leader, and a tireless advocate for the advancement of women and girls, both domestically, as we've said, but also globally. And to put it succinctly, in any policy discussion of the value of women, you can count on this lady to bring facts to the table. So please give a warm welcome tonight to the President of the National Council for Research on Women, Dr. Linda Bosch.